Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dom, and today I'm going to show you how system-wide notifications will work in iOS 7 over Bluetooth. So this is a new API in iOS 7, and it'll allow Bluetooth to have access to Notification Center. And this is a little demo slash setup tutorial. So if you have iOS 7 beta and you have a Pebble watch, then you'll be able to set this up just as I'm doing in this video. Otherwise, you'll have to wait until iOS 7 is released and you have a smartwatch that can take advantage of this phone functionality, but this makes it work for a lot of smartwatches that use Bluetooth, and like I said, you can have system-wide notifications. Currently, by default, Pebble handles notifications for text messages, um, for phone calls, stuff like that, for email, basic things. As you can see, I have a text message coming through, it shows up on the phone, then it shows up on the watch. But with Pebble out of the box, you don't have support for apps like TweetBot or any other apps with notifications for that matter. Well, iOS 7 changes that with this new Bluetooth API, and as you can see, I sent myself a demo tweet and it doesn't show up on the Pebble Watch as expected, but when we enable this properly in iOS 7, it will allow those notifications from TweetBot or from any other app to beam to the Pebble Watch. Now, first thing we wanna do here is delete the Pebble Watch app. Now, I know what you're thinking, that sounds kinda of weird, but you don't need it, trust me. After you've deleted the Pebble Watch app, we are going to go into the Settings app and go into Notification Settings and tap on that and then go down to the app in which you'd like to enable these notifications for. In my case, I'm going to select TweetBot from the list. So here we have TweetBot. Scroll down to the bottom and where it says show on lock screen, you wanna turn that off and then turn it back on. That's all you need to do. Back out of the notification center settings and go out to the home screen or whatever. And here I'm gonna send myself a tweet now and you'll be able to see that I do in fact get TweetBot notifications on my Pebble Watch. And there you go, it says TweetBot and I mentioned myself Pebble Test 2 right there on the Pebble Watch. It's pretty awesome with this new API in iOS 7 for Bluetooth notifications. And you can repeat this process for as many apps as you'd like. I'm going to do it again with the mail app here. I'm going to select it um, for one of my email addresses. And all you have to do is turn that off and turn it back on on the show on lock screen toggle right there. And here we are. We're going to send an email over real quick. And then you guys will get an idea of how this works. Email has been kind of spotty on iOS for Pebble. Well, this definitely fixes it. Um, within iOS 7, it will fix all of those problems for sure. And let's just wait a second here. As you can see, we have the email there, and then it pops up on the Pebble Watch. And it works every time. I've had no problems with this whatsoever. It's pretty awesome. And this new API, this Bluetooth API in iOS 7, is going to change a lot of things for smartwatches, which leads me to believe that there might be um, even more of a possibility of an iWatch coming out, and maybe there is one already if you're watching this in six months or whatever, but I'm going to enable this for the Pages app, and I'm going to turn off and on the Show on Lock Screen option. Next, I'm going to send out a status update on my Facebook page, and as soon as I get a comment on there, you'll be able to see exactly how this works. It, it'll work with any app, I'm telling you. Any app in iOS 7, you will have Bluetooth notifications for, and it will work perfect with the Pebble Watch here. So wait for a comment to come through, and then you will see that this is working perfectly. There we go, one comment. We have uh, another one coming through, and another one. So it's all in sync, it actually is, almost happening faster on the Pebble Watch than it was on the phone for a second, which is pretty eerie, but it does work great. And like I said, you do not need the Pebble app installed to make this happen. The Pebble app actually hinders its ability because it only restricts it to, you know, phone calls, emails sometimes when they're not flaking out and text messages on your device. Well, if you do this little setup right here in the notification center, and delete the Pebble app, you can have system-wide notifications on your Pebble Watch for any app that you enable. Now, it's important to note that if your Pebble Watch loses Bluetooth connection, you will have to repeat this process. So that is kind of annoying. Now, that is only right now as I'm making this video in iOS 7 beta. I am sure that when iOS 7 is officially released, if that's when you are watching this, that it will work flawlessly and Pebble will support all of these new APIs 
in their application out of the box, and you won't have to delete the Pebble app at that point. But right now, I just wanted to give you guys a little demo slash tutorial on how I got this working on my Pebble watch with iOS 7 beta. So I hope this was helpful for everybody. I know this is kind of a, an odd situation. You'd have to have these stars aligned perfect to make this happen for yourself. You didn't need a Pebble watch. You need an iPhone or or whatever in iOS 7 beta. But if everything lines up like that and you have all these things right now, then you'll be able to do this. Otherwise, this will, I'm sure, be supported right out of the box when iOS 7 is released and Pebble gets around to updating their app, uh, as well as any other smart watches that use Bluetooth notifications. So be sure to let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day.